Greetings to you all and welcome to my video today. Uh, my name is Chokube Madichie. Um, uh, in this video, we want to learn how to estimate panel data regression. Um, this is actually uh, a second version of my panel data regression video. Um, in the previous panel data regression that I did, um, I only presented a, a fixed effect and random effect without uh, testing the model selection using the Hausmann test. And in this video, we are going to do a complete panel data regression starting from pool. Uh, OLS, pool OLS. Uh, from there we move to fixed effect, and from fixed effect we move to random effect. Okay, and from random effect we can now test between fixed effect and random effect which one is uh, uh, more appropriate for this our analysis. For that reason. Uh, here is our work file. We have the country ID, the date ID. Uh, we have already created the group for the variables. Here, the GDP is the dependent variable, and FDI and OPN are the independent variables. So we can go to make equation. Now, in this make equation, okay. If we estimate this model here without uh, making us making us some settings on the panel option, this is called the pooled OLS. So here we are pulling all the data from countries with, with without accounting for some certain uh, country specific uh, characteristics um, once I click OK now we see the pool regression so in this regression we can see that uh, only the OPN is uh, significant of course it is positive and significant uh, FDI is positive but not significant at 5% Okay, uh, having done that, um, we can uh, move to fixed effects. Uh, here we come back to this place, and but this time around we are going into panel option. We are expected to touch only this cross section, and this cross section we are touching. Uh, uh, we change what we have here to fix okay uh, and then we run the test now in this regression here we now see a change of results where FDI becomes negative instead of positive as we had in the previous regression and this time around is significant as 5 the OPN retained its neg uh, positive value and stay significant. You can see this outcome. Now let us uh, estimate again with random effect. For the random effect, uh, instead of uh, having the fix, we can now put random. So for this random effect, we click OK. Now for random effect, FDI became uh, a, a, a positive but not significant at 5, while OPN continued to be both positive and significant. OK? Now we have been able to do from pool regression to random effect regression um, the Hausmann test will have to be carried out within the 
estimated uh, random effect model so in this model structure we are going to perform the Hausmann test you can see I went to view from view to fix effect testing here you can see the Hausmann test now recall that the null hypothesis behind the Hausmann test is that the random effect which we are testing here the null hypothesis that the random effect is appropriate while the alternative is that the fixed effect is appropriate now you already know the decision rule when the p value is less than 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis so this test we have carried out only shows us that the null hypothesis which is which states that um, random effect is appropriate is rejected therefore we accept the alternative which states that fixed effect is appropriate so what this result is telling us is that uh, the fixed effect model is more appropriate of course um, here is the fixed effect uh, model as we have uh, specified before so the results the the test the houseman test is telling us that this result is more appropriate by implication uh, fdi has negative and significant effect on gdp while the uh, trade openness has positive and significant effect on GDP. Uh, thank you for uh, your time in uh, watching this video. Um, I hope this video is useful. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is the only way you can appreciate and support what I am doing. Please, I beg you to subscribe to my channel and of course share to your friends uh, recommend the channel to your friends who are in need of these skills thank you very much and god bless you